Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to root Lephone S10. We use a Windows laptop. If you have Mac, I will attach the link, the video and in the description you will be able to install Windows on your Mac. I did the same, let's continue. First of all, download the file from Google Drive. Let's copy this file. Let's go to computer, drive C, new folder. ADB and paste. And then let's go to the phone and do some actions. Let's unlock the phone. Let's go to settings. Then we click on system, about phone. And then we click five times build number to turn on developers mode. Then we go to the developers options, click back. Click on developer options. Here we must click on OEM unlocking and USB debugger. Then we take the cord and connect with your laptop. Let's allow USB debugging. Let's go to common prompt. And let's write next command. And then ADP devices. The answer mustn't be empty. And let's write next command. And then the next command. The answer mustn't be empty. And then let's put the next command. Let's click on the sound on button for several seconds. And then the next command. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's choose recovery mode and uh, click on sounds off button. Let's click on cancel. Let's slide. Let's click on additional info and then ADB side load. Then slide. ADB side load disable encryption telephone S10 Pro dot zip and click enter. Let's go to the main menu and clean all the data. Back, achiska, clean. Click on Format Data. Let's put Yes. When everything is finished, we go to ADB Side Load. We go back. Back, back, back. Additional. ADB Side Load. Then we go back to Computer. After everything is finished, we click on the right button, reboot, don't install, let's wait while it's loading.
when you finish setting up the phone, let's check if we have root access. I installed the iProxy app. We see the button request root and we see root access granted. Also, we can check root access in the Magisk app. Just open it, click super user and click the button on. Yes, we have super user rights and let's check how remote change IP is working. I'm going to send the command from the Telegram bot iProxy and it's magic, it's working. And let's do it again. Yes, it's working.